In this video, we are going to use synthetic division to divide a polynomial, and then we'll find all the zeros of that particular polynomial. So, first of all, if we are dividing a polynomial, we are going to take the value that would make that divisor equal to zero. So, if I took the divisor x minus 5 and I set it equal to zero, then that would be a solution of x equals 5. So, that is the number that will go into our little box for synthetic division. And then out next to the box, our coefficients from our polynomial up here. So, when there's nothing in front of a term, it's understood to have a coefficient of 1. And then we have negative 4, negative 47, and positive 210. Remember, if any power of x is missing, be sure you fill in with a coefficient of 0. So we're going to carry out our synthetic division. The 1 comes straight down, and then we multiply by the box. 1 times 5 is 5. We put the 5 in the next column and we add negative 4 plus 5 is 1 again. We multiply by the box. 1 times 5 is 5. Put the number in the next column. When we add, negative 47 plus 5 is a negative 42. And then we multiply by the box. Negative 42 times 5 would be a negative 210. And when we add, we get a 0. So anytime you have a zero in this final column, remember that's your remainder. If that is a zero, if the remainder is equal to zero, then what that tells you is whatever was in this box, so in this case, x equals five, that is a zero of your polynomial. You can also call it a solution. So zeros are just another names for a solution. So we have found one of our zeros. We know x is equal to 5. Now originally, we started with x cubed. So once you carry out synthetic division, then what happens is these the power of x has decreased by 1. So this is now 1x squared. That's a positive 1x, and that's a minus 42. So if we wanted to find the remaining zeros, if we take this particular polynomial, and I don't have to show the coefficients of one, they're understood to be there. If I set it equal to zero, I'm going to solve it. So notice it is a quadratic. Always try to factor first. If it doesn't factor, then you'll use the quadratic formula to solve it. Luckily in this case, it does factor. When I look at factors of negative 42, I'm going to have factors of 7 and 6. I need them to add up to a positive 1x in the middle, so it would be a plus 7 and a minus 6. And again, at that step, just very quickly go through your FOIL, you know, x squared plus 7x minus 6x. That's what gives you the plus 1x and then minus 42. Just double check that you've got the right factors. And then once you do, you separately set each factor equal to zero, and you solve. So if x plus seven equals zero, if I subtract seven on both sides, here is a second zero of my polynomial, also known as a solution. And if x plus six equals to zero, and I add six to each side, then my other zero would be x equals six. So we had x equal 5 from the beginning, and then we had x equal negative 7 and x equal 6. So um, they did tell us that if there was a remainder, they wanted our answer in this form. But in this case, since there was not a remainder, that's why we went ahead and found all of the zeros um, for this particular function. All right, so now we are given a, another polynomial. They're telling us one is a zero, and they're asking us to find the solution set, meaning the other zeros. So since they're telling me one is a zero, I'll put it in my little box, and out next to it, I'll take my, once again, coefficients of the polynomial. So there's understood to be a one in front of the x cubed. Then I have a negative 13 positive 47, and negative 35. Carry out my synthetic division. So bring the 1 straight down. 
1 times 1 is 1. Then I add, and I get negative 12. Multiply by the box. Negative 12 times 1 is negative 12. When I add, I'm left with 35. Multiply by the box. 35 times 1 is 35. When I add, I get 0. And I should get 0 because they told me it was that 1 was a 0, which means that the remainder should be 0. So now, if I had started with x cubed, remember this is now decrease the power of x, so that's a 1x squared, that's a minus 12x, and that's a plus 35. So if I now take what they refer to as a the depressed polynomial, and I set it equal to zero, then hopefully I can find the other two solutions. So again, try to factor first. If it does not factor, that's where you're gonna have to do the quadratic formula. In this case, I'm looking for factors of positive 35 that would add up to negative 12. So that would be factors of negative seven and negative five. And again, you could foil just to double check. Once you have the factors, set each factor equal to zero and solve. So if I take my x minus seven, set it equal to zero, I'm gonna add seven on both sides. So there is another solution, x equals seven. And if I take my factor x minus five, set it equal to zero, I'm adding five on both sides. So there is my third solution, x equals five. So when they say the solution set and they have the brackets, you're just gonna list them. So we had the solution set, they told me one was a zero and I found seven to be a zero and I just found five to be a zero. So that would be my solution set.